Hello there everyone. So today we will be discussing another topic on grade 10 mathematics. Okay. Uh, it is all about the theorems on different theorems on circles. Okay, so bago tayo mag-proceed sa topic na to, dapat alam niyo na yung mga basic theorems ng circle like say, let's say for example, yung radius, diameter, chords, arc, central angles, inscribed angles, and etc. Okay, as an introduction to the theorems on circles, let us discuss the arcs of a circle at yung mga related na theorem sa arcs of a circle. Okay. But first, what is an arc? So when we talk about arc, it is consists of two points on a circle and all points needed to connect the points by a single path. Kaya yan, yan yung mga example ng arc. So the center of an arc is the center of the circle of which the arc is a part. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron tayong, mamaya i-discuss ko pa sa inyo kung ano ang itong mga arc na to, but we have three types of arc. at yung minor arc, at yung major arc, at ito yung semicircle. Okay, so ito yung mga tinatawag nating arc. Uh, it consists of two points or kasama yung mga points na kailangan para makonek yung mga points by a single path. The central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of a circle. Okay? Pag sinabi natin central angle, simply lang, uh, yung vertex niya nasa center ng circle. Kapag wala sa center ng circle, that means it's not a central angle. Okay? Radii OA and OB determine central angle AOB. Okay? In order for us para magkaroon ng central angle, dapat meron tayong dalawang radius na may isang vertex. Okay? So, dito, yung radii nat, yung ra radius OA natin at radius OB natin, dinadetermine niya yung ating ang central angle AOB. Okay? Tumuno, dumako naman tayo dun sa tatlong types ng arc na sinasabi ko kanina. So, the first one is the minor arc. Minor arc is an arc whose points are on or between the side of a central Angle. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung minor arc always less than 180 degrees. Yun lang itatandaan ninyo. Less than 180 degrees. It is on or between the central angle. Okay. So, dito, arc AB is determines the central angle APB. Oh, minor arcs are named with two letters. So, pag nakakita na kayong dalawang letters, that means we are talking about a minor arc. Okay? So, kasi pinapangalanan natin siya using uh, two letters. Okay. And it has a symbol of this one. For example, yung arc AB natin, ganito siya, arc A, B. Okay, that's it. Next is the major arc. A major arc is an arc whose points are on or outside of a central angle. Okay, kung kanina, nasa loob ng central angle yung minor arc, yung outside ng central angle, yun yung tinatawag nating major arc. Kung kanina, ito yung mi minor arc. In this case, this is our major arc. And major arc is always greater than 180 degrees. Okay. Central angle CQD determines major arc CFD and major arcs are named with three letters. So, tatlong letters yung ginagamit natin para pangalanan yung ating major arc. The last type of an arc is a semicircle. So, a semicircle is an arc whose end points of a diameter. Okay, yung semicircle exactly 180 degrees yung degrees niya. Okay. That means 180 degrees is half of 360. That means a semicircle is simply half of a circle. And yung end point niya is always on a diameter. Okay? Arc EF is a semicircle. Uh, by the way, a semicircle was, uh, uh, is named using two letters or three letters. Pwedeng dalawang letters, pwedeng tatlong letters. Measure of an arc. Okay? A minor arc or a semicircle, the measure is the same as the central angle that intercepts the arc. 
Okay, magkamukha lang daw sila ng measure. Halimbawa, ang measure ng, ma, ng central angle natin ay 120. Definitely, ang measure ng kanyang minor arc intercepted by it is also 120. Ang measure ng ating central angle ay 90. Ang measure ng ating minor arc is also 90. Ang measure ng ating central angle is 180. Ang measure ng ating semicircle ay 180. Ang measure ng ating central angle ay 30. Definitely, ang measure ng ating arc is also 30. Minor arc, major arc, the measure of the arc is 360 minus the measure of the minor arc with the same endpoints. So dito naman, uh, di ba yung major arc natin, yun yung sa labas ng ating central angle. That means, para makuha daw natin yung measure ng major arc, 360 minus lang natin yung minor arc. Kung same lang sila ng endpoint. Okay, halimbawa. Given that the measure of arc AB is 20, find the measure of major arc ACB. AB is 20, find the measure of ACB. Okay, that's simply 360 minus 20 and the measure of arc ACB is 340. Congruent arcs. Okay. Two arcs that have the same measure are not necessarily congruent arcs. Hindi porket magkamuka ng measure yung arc, that means magkamuka, congruent na din yung dalawang arc. Kaya halimbawa, in this case, we have two arcs, arc CD and arc AB. They have the same center. That means yung arc CD at arc AB are both 65. But it does not necessarily mean that arc CD and arc AB are congruent. Two arcs are congruent, ito yun, whenever they have the same measure and are parts of the same circle or congruent circle. Okay? Magkamu dapat magkamukha sila ng measure at dapat part sila ng isang circle or part sila ng, is ng dalawang congruent circle. Paano natin masasabi na ang dalawang circle ay congruent? Simple lang, if they have the same uh, radius. Pag magkamukha sila ng radius, that means two circles are congruent. For example, in this case, arc AB, uh, uh, we can conclude that arc AB and arc CD are congruent because they, they both measure 60 degrees. And aside from that, they are on the same circle. Okay. Ito naman yung example ng two congruent circle. Uh, given that circle P is congruent to circle Q, we may conclude that EF, uh, arc EF and arc GH are congruent since they both measure 50 degrees. Theorems of arc chords and angles. Okay, I will tell you some theorems on of arc chords and central angles. On paano sila naging related sa isat isa. Theorem 79 states that if two central angles of a circle or of congruent circles are congruent, then their intercepted arcs are also congruent. So, ito yan. Kung yung dalawang angle daw natin, central angle natin ay congruent, that means yung kanilang intercepted arcs are also congruent. Okay. Theorem 80, kabaligtaran lang. If two arcs of a circle or of congruent circles are congruent, then the corresponding central angles are congruent. Kung ito naman dalawa daw na to na arcs ay congruent, that means yung corresponding central angles nila are also congruent. Followed by theorem 81, if two central angles of a circle or of congruent circles are congruent, then the corresponding chords are congruent. Okay. Kung yun, uh, dito naman gumawa sa connect siya ng, kinonect niya yung dalawang chords using a line segment to form a chord. Ay, ay, kinonect niya yung dalawang, ar, ay, dalawang point using a line segment to form a chord. Okay. Ang sabi naman sa theorem na to, kung yung dalawang central angle daw congruent, That means, yung kanilang corresponding chords are also congruent. Okay, kabalik na lang ng theorem 82. Yung theorem 82, kapag daw yung dalawang chord are congruent, then their corresponding central angles are also congruent. Pag ito congruent, congruent na din tong dalawa na to. Next is the chords. Ay, arcs. If two arcs of a circle are congruent, then the corresponding chords are also congruent. Kapag congruent daw itong dalawang arcs ng circles, that means yung corresponding chords nila are also congruent. Kabaliktaran lang, if two chords of a circle are congruent, then the corresponding arcs are congruent. Pag yung dalawang chords ng circle naman ay congruent, then yung corresponding arcs niya are also congruent. 
Okay. If the measure of arc AB is equal to 102 degrees in circle O, find the measure of angle A and angle B in triangle AOB. Here's our given. Since arc AB is equal to 102 degrees, then tri uh, angle AOB is equal to 102 degrees as well. Kasi theorem natin yon na kung anong measure ng central angle ay nung, nung arc, it is also the same with the measure of central angle. Okay, so since 102, we all know that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. 180 degree, pag pinag-add natin si AOB, si angle A, at si angle B. That means, <coughs> sorry, angle AOB plus angle A plus angle B is equal to 180. Since alam na natin si AOB, we have 102 plus the angle, measure of angle A and angle B. Okay. Measure of angle A and angle B is equal to 78. Ta-transpose lang natin si 102, ma-minus lang natin sa 180, ang total niya, ang sagot ay 78. Okay. OA and OB are both radius and they are in the same circle. That means magkamukha lang ng measure yung OA and OB. That's why angle A is also congruent with angle B. That means the measure of angle A is 39 and the measure of angle B is also 39. Okay, I will uh, we'll have another discussion, a separate discussion on proving, on proving, okay. Medyo mahaba-haba kasi yung proving. Okay, yung next topic natin, probably on the next video, is all about the sector and segment of a circle. Okay, so for today, kakat ko muna yung ating discussion for... For that theorems, okay, I hope you learned something for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe on my channel and like this video. And if you have question, feel free to comment it on the comment box below. Thank you for watching.